Hello and welcome. My name's Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases from Forgeworld and Games Workshop. I want to say a warm welcome to all of you new viewers and subscribers and a huge thank you to all of you members and Element Games affiliate link users. Without your support, I can't make these videos and I can't continue to obtain the new releases uh, such as all of the Lumineth and the upcoming Soulblight Grave Lords. So big, big thank you to you guys. You know who you are, whether you use the code first thing on a Saturday morning or whether you have those one-off um, orders throughout the week. Any size orders really does help. Um, so you know who you are. Thank you so much. So let's get into it. So if we go onto the community website and we look back a week ago to Saturday the 27th of March, way, way, way back about here, um, we can take a look at um, uh, Luther's book. Uh, it did come out before, but only in the special edition. He's now getting his uh, normal hardback um copy and uh, that's out today age of sigma they get a book um the end of enlightenment novel and also um vampire genevieve by kim newman a uh, warhammer horror uh, novel that book is 850 pages it's quite a, a thick one on the same day today you've got the rest of the lumineth uh, releases here you've got everything from the second broken realms book called techless um, you've got a special edition version of it. A second battle tome um, within a year of Lumineth Realm Lords coming out. I think this is unprecedented. I don't think we've quite had a, an army book come out, be released less than a year after the initial one. I do like the cover. This is the special edition version of it. You've got a number of characters. Severeth, Lord of the Seventh Wind. You can also make one of these um, Hurricane Spirit of the Wind models. You've got these wind chargers I like to call them kangaroos and you've got this amazing model lirior uthral uh, warden of metrica uh, you can also make a normal warden um, you've got the caligrave you've got the wind mage or goku <laughs> you've got the uh, law seeker it's like a battle mage really um you've got the twin you've got the twins alania and elethor the uh, war sages and then you've got the blade lords uh, you've got a banner blade which is amazing and you've got the ballista and the uh, amazing scenery piece, the Shrine Luminor, along with the cards, signed copy of the artwork, which sold out really quickly um, with the books. Uh, and you've got some T-shirts, which, um, yeah, I haven't seen up until now. Then you also uh, had some uh, War Scroll Battalions in a box. So you've got the uh, Nurgle one. You've got the um, Cities of Sigmar. The Hellcourt one for uh, Defoulers of Nagash. And you've also got Horex Dreadlance. Um, so you've got Elite Band of Kavalos Death Riders and this awesome looking model. Um, then Marnius Kalgar issue number two and a White Scars Primaris Intercessor from Bandai. So there was a ton of new releases last weekend. My Lord, if you were able to get all of them, then hats off to you because it's a huge impact having all of the releases of, of an army on one day. Um, we have the Sunday preview, Enter the Cursed City. So finally, this was announced to be released for pre-order um, for today, April the 3rd, the 3rd of April, um, with a release date of the 10th. Really looking forward to this. If I can get my hands on a copy, it's going to be extremely popular today, I think. Um, you've got a full board game there. Uh, look, look what you get in the box. Absolutely huge number of models. You've got the um, novel too. We've got a lovely novel there. Uh, and also this... Um, special edition um, book as well, which looks uh, pretty nice. Then the, the day after, on the Monday, we had Defy the Dark Lord with the Kings Under the Mountain. Amazing looking models, about to be released. Fantastic. Lovely paint jobs as well. And then um, there were some uh, articles about Curse City throughout the week, including Outrun, a horrifying tide of pure death magic in Curse City's journals. New Model Monday, also on obviously the monday um very yeah odd face luckily you get a helmeted version which is carrying one of these big staff type mace things um that's not new though uh but uh yeah there's the helmeted version looks pretty cool but uh yeah so how many new models is that that's the tank that's uh the dogmata which is this model the palatine and the uh, new 
sisters of battle in a suit so that's at least four new models that they're getting along with their codex um i'm not sure when though i don't think it'll be in april um but we'll see i kind of thought that they'd tie it in with the piety and pain there set but they didn't there's a rumor engine some kind of net or wood wooden structure i'm not sure and then uh, another cursity article white dwarf 463 that will be coming out in a couple of weeks i think a little uh, preview of it for 40k you've got some chaos and some underworlds and then designing the crimson court so this is a, a war band which i'm very interested in picking up lovely looking miniatures And then uh, Dark Angels collection, little showcase there. Say so little, absolutely fantastic. That's a, such a cool pose. How they've done that. Um, Bellicor's return with collectible coin. So this is the uh, coin to celebrate Bellicor's return. You got to spend sixty pounds uh, to pick it up. So this is April, so I'm wondering if Bellicor will be released this month. Another Curse City article, and then for April Fools, they had a, a trailer for um, <laughs> Primaris Lieutenant. A couple more, Curse City, and um, four-player Warcry campaign. Broken Realms, the Joust of Kings. And then key to Ulfen Khan with your copy of Warhammer Quest Curse City. So if you pre-order the Curse City game from uh, Games Workshop, then you get this uh, amazing looking key. Uh, if you pick it up from the store, which non-essential retail here in the UK aren't, aren't open yet, I think it's like the 12th of April, um, you, get, uh, you can pick up a load of uh, cool badges, pens and things like that. So there you go, but it's very limited. I think it's gonna be popular today. And then another article here, how to paint the uh, Curse City. So yeah, big, big focus this week on Curse City. Couple of articles dotted about for um, Age of Sigma and, and 40K very, very slim on the ground. And um, maybe that will change, but 40K has had a bit of a uh, spotlight with all of the um, Kill Team content uh, that they've uh, been releasing. Let's jump on over to Forge World, where we will find no pre-orders, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I think they did a good job with the um, word bearers last weekend, or last Friday, should I say. If we click on pre-orders, there's there's nothing. They've gone. Um, you've just got uh, the Lord of the Rings models. If we click on new releases, there's the word bearers. And um, the Terminator Praetor keeps going in and out of stock. Uh, I think the, the actual Legion Pro Tour was out of stock for a day or two. So I think they've done a good job with uh, getting the new Word Bearers releases out there and putting them back into stock and, and all the rest of it. So if you were able to pick them up, then um, that's great. I wonder what uh, is next for Forge World uh, to release uh, just to, along the horizon because they pretty much released um, a lot of the models that they were previewing uh, since last year. Um, but if there are any that they're previewed that they haven't released yet, please feel free to obviously um, put it in the comments. Um, so that's it from Forge World. Nothing really. Um, but they've done a very, very good job, in my opinion, of getting a lot of their uh, models and products back in stock, which is always a good thing. So let's jump on over to Games Workshop and have a look at this Cursed City goodness. And here we are on Games Workshop's uh, web store. It's crashed quite a few times. Um, I'm literally looking at this screen at two minutes past 10. Um, I don't dare click on one of these options unless it um, doesn't load the, the web page again. Uh, yeah, it, it's popular. And it's about as popular as I expected it to be for a brand new kind of a game i say game system like a a warhammer version of blackstone fortress i managed to get onto all the pre-orders here you've got the cursed city collection let's fingers crossed guys because this is all for the uh channel come on will it load will it load <laughs> 
Oh, oh, it's loading. So we've got the Curse City Collection, right? So it's £143, which is the £125 box game uh, and the £18 uh, novel. Yeah, it sucks. They could have rounded it up to 140 give you more of an incentive of, of buying the book with the game. I, I don't know why they don't do that. Um, Forge World do that. They, they have bundles of miniatures um, and they give you a discount, quite a big discount in, in some cases. Um, I just wish Games Workshop would do this in their bundle section. It's great that they've got a bundle section, but anyway, run over. Um, you can get the game and the, the novel here. Let's uh, just have a little, little look. at. Uh, you've got some downloads. Wow. So you can f download all of the, the free rules there for Age of Sigma if you wanted to use them all in uh, in uh, Age of Sigma. I, I'm, a, I'm certain that the, the War Scrolls are on the Warhammer Age of Sigma app as well. Um, so I'd, I'd check there. But uh, yeah, you get the, uh, the game, 60 plastic miniatures along with the rules and accessories and Cursed City book by C.L. Werner or Werner. Um, let's have a little gander at this then. So... There we are. There are all the minis. Uh, the hero. I say minis, you know. The, they look um, pretty awesome. There's a couple that I'm not hugely fond of. Only a couple. But the rest are very, very nice. These are all of those. And then you get the uh, uh, the Soul Blight um, Undead uh, minis. You've got everything from uh, vampire bats to dark soul skeletons with halberds. Um, to this mage and uh, this boss and this grave digger. I mean, oh, look at all those. Look at all those those minis there. There's a ton of them, isn't there? Um, fantastic. Of course, they're going to be uh, monopose, uh, easy to build minis, I'm sure. But they do look cool, and they're a great start to uh, Soul Blight uh, Army. Yeah, I forget you get the uh, the Banshees as well. Um, yeah, they look uh, amazing. I love the wind on the the material and you get these uh, dead walkers i'm not a big fan of the graves still but there we go anyway that is the cursed city collection which is just the box game and the book then you've got the uh, box game itself we've sort of had a look at that um with the collection what else have we got to pre-order today we've got the um special edition of the novel uh, 40 pounds yeah, it's not 45, so I'm pleased about that. It's it's only 40, um, and um, looks quite decent. You've looks like you've got a little pouch inside it to put uh, your cards. You do get um, one of the cards with it, Morval Albrecht. Yeah, it includes a character card um, to use in the uh, in the game. You get hardback with cutout design front cover, velvet style inside cover, additional sort short story, author introduction internal full color art page ribbon bookmark is signed and individually numbered from uh, 1250 um so yeah bring it on um doesn't say how many pages it is yeah that's a bit a bit poor however with the power of the internet so i can reveal that it's 319 pages it's not a huge book by any means but still quite quite a nice chunky one that'll keep you uh, occupied for you know half an hour or so <laughs> just kidding um and then you've got the only other pre-order is the book itself 18 pounds lovely front cover um i really love the fact that it matches the the artwork on the uh, ball game and long long may that continue um i think the art for the blackstone fortress sort of mirrored the the um board game too and i hope that this continues i hope that they do um turn this into like a series and they release um a few more novels I'm not sure whether that could be done with uh, uh, C.L. Werner, but, um, you know, that uh, that would definitely look cool, wouldn't it? Having all these in the different sort of uh, hand-drawn um, red artwork. And uh, then there's the key. Now, you can't buy the key separately. Um, I'm, I've clicked the key right now. Maybe I shouldn't have. I've got a loading bar on the top. Come on. Yes, thank you, Internet Gods. Yes, yeah, so if you were to pre-order Curse City, um, they will give you this key for free, which is a great um, incentive. I don't know what's going on, but uh, the usual third-party sellers are only offering Curse City with a 10% discount, which is awful, really. Um, I think you save yourself about £12, so, but I think this may well be cooler than £12 because it's a, you know bit of a collector's bit of a memorabilia uh, and it's quite chunky as well you know it's what three times taller than a than a normal mini so it's going to be you know it's, that's that's quite decent 
um, and it just fits it so well and uh, with all the, the fonts and everything and yeah pretty cool um, like uh, incentive this time uh, and uh, certainly beat some of the um, incentives that they've had before um, you know you get a physical thing it would be nice to get like a physical memento um, per new box game or something um, so long may that continue um, you know don't have it for every kind of army box set like piety and pain or anything like that but but just for like a new you know like uh for indomitus i think they had something for indomitus i can't remember um but they're, they're doing this coin thing as well so they're branching out a bit more into these collectible type uh, uh accessories um so there you go that is uh all of the pre-orders from today it's just curse city um the main game for 125 pound which is still which i think is pretty good um 143 with the novel the special edition novel, uh, the normal hardback novel, which should be available in um, paperback for like £10 though. That would have been the icing on the cake. And then the key that you get with those uh, pre-orders. If we just uh, take a little look back at the game itself. Yep, it crashed the website. Um, the collection, let's see what happens with this. No longer available for the collection. So I think it has sold out. It's 11 past 10. Uh, let's have a look at this special special edition novel. Yep, no longer available as well. So they sold out pretty pretty quick. Um, with I'd say I've been mumbling and things, but I'd say within ten minutes again. So maybe as popular as Indomitus, but Indomitus was a brand new um, uh, edition of forty uh, k, and all the models in that were very sought after. That sold out within about four minutes for Indomitus. And that's pretty much it. Uh, sorry if you are feeling disappointed uh, with uh, these now being sold out. I'm wondering whether you can pick up the normal edition of the novel at least. No. So, uh, yeah, off to Amazon for the Kindle edition for that one then, it seems. But, uh, yeah, all the Curse City sold out very quickly. Um, that is it. That's all done. But it'd be very interesting to find out which out of all those sales were the genuine ones, you know, like one per customer and ones that people really wanted and that they were going to build rather than the number of scalpers. You'll probably see this on eBay right here. It's 13 minutes past 10. You've got the limited edition book, uh, 120 pounds plus postage. I can't see how they could be selling that. It's not released until next weekend. Um, this says pre-order again, 150 pound. That's not too bad. That's 25 pound more. £250 right there, £260 already, we're 13 minutes in. This person has seven available. Don't feel bad or feel bad for a few seconds and then send Games Workshop an email saying, hey, what's going on? Try to pre-order it, but it's sold out within 10 minutes. Um, are you going to do a made-to-order? And if a number of people do that, Games Workshop listen and Forge World listen as well. When there are models and items that are out of stock on Forge World, you get a load of people to email them um, for that item and they do bring it back into stock. I've seen it happen so many times. And this could well be an Indomitus moment. Do not lose all hope. They've done it with Indomitus. They can do it with this as well. And on that bombshell, I wish you the very best of luck. And I hope you have a fantastic Easter weekend. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.